The main um, message here is that we're actually trying to get more people to knit. We want more and more younger people knitting, and that's why we, in fact, are working with Save the Children. Save the Children approached us and they said, look, you know, we're actually running a campaign, which they do every year. They, their campaign this year is Born to Knit, and it's actually about uh, knitting squares, squares make blankets, and blankets save lives. By all accounts, there's something like 8 million children at risk just from preventable illnesses like pneumonia, which if they've got blankets, they, their lives will actually be saved. So we've joined forces. And, you know, from our perspective, it's actually a wonderful uh, sort of community-driven um, uh, campaign where in fact people are encouraged to knit and we actually, you know, do a whole lot of good. At the same time, there is a commercial imperative, and the commercial imperative is we want people to learn to knit. All over uh, the world, for example, in America and the, and the UK and all over Europe, Worldwide Knitting Day has actually become a, a, a big phenomenon. And the reason why it's actually become so big is that, you know, people knit in those communities. If you actually look at New Zealand, New Zealand is per capita one of the highest knitting uh, countries in the world. Australia lags very far behind. So this day is actually about encouraging people to knit. And what better way than to actually get people to knit squares that will actually benefit people. I'm Louise Kelly. I'm a passionate knitter and get a lot of pleasure from it. And this is a good opportunity to help other people um, share my passion and get some rewards from it. My name is Belinda Holt. I'm from Darwin in the Northern Territory and I'm here to knit in public out and proud. The other beauty today is that we in fact are encouraging people to you know, knit their squares and then to attach them to this work of art that everyone is actually busy working in at the moment. And they can also uh, attach a message of hope. There's a lot of commercial people that have actually got involved in Worldwide Knitting Public Day. So we have lots of local yarn stores and some of the majors all actually getting involved. And all that does is it actually gets more people knitting and more people knitting for charity. The people are knitting squares. Those squares will in fact eventually be made into blankets. So we're not making anything other than blankets because the primary drive here is to actually get people to knit for charity because blankets save lives. They will actually go to various communities here in Australia and then they'll go to uh, communities in India, uh, Laos and Vietnam and, Com and Cambodia. But if you come here at night, this whole installation is actually lit up with lanterns and during the day people in fact are taught how to make those lanterns and then those lanterns go into the installation. It's just a magnificent idea that Federation Square have come up with. So at night it's a, it's a real spectacle. So light is in fact the feature and light in fact represents fire. So it has uh, you know, real resonance with our, with our past.